everybody. I've got a custom journal here today, and this is for Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. This is something that she really likes. It's the Goaty Women, and uh, she wanted pink toile. So all the pages are in the pink toile. Let's see if we can get a measurement here. Nine and a quarter by five and a half-ish. <laughs> And the cover has got a big doily on it, a real pretty lace bow, rosette, and some lace here. And it's got some pink lace here. This is a big puppy. Look at that spine. And then here's the back. It's really big. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty together? And it extends out a little bit. And let's go inside. It's all fabric pages. And the f I can't tell. Yeah, I am. Okay, we're good. We're good. This. Let me go inside here first. I was going to explain the page, but let's let's do this. It, this has a pocket here, and it's tied with sorry ribbon. I mean, sorry ribbon. Um, seam binding, coffee dyed seam binding. And inside we have a little booklet with the pink lace, so it all goes together. It's got some stitching around. This is made out of a glassine bag. She loves birds, so this is a bird, got birds on it. On the inside, we have uh, an envelope with some birds and some pansies, isn't that pretty? And then some coffee dyed papers inside for journaling. Little teapot there. And then we have some real pretty font, birdie image, and some lace. And the pages have been script stamped, and uh, there's another stamp on there. I figured um, with the birdies going on, this says Fair Home of Singing Birds. It's part of that old um, songbook that I have. It's got a femur in it. Little flower tab. A little pink there with a little image, some music paper. Yeah, I would I would journal all on that. This is uh, got some sewing around the edge here. Another little tiny birdie with a matching flower. Got all kinds of things in here. Another little birdie. Two birdies actually. I figured chickens were birds, so I, that has some little chickens on it with some coffee dyed seam binding there. Nothing cute. So pretty. Some lace here with a pretty rose and a flower tab. Another pretty rose, another birdie, some lace going down the side here, and the other side of that music page, a little blue ruffle here, it says thankful, with the flower tab. Some more ephemera on some eyelet fabric. And then I did an eyelet lace ruffle, I mean eyelet lace, uh, eyelet ruffle and stuck it on the corner there. And this has got a huge bow on the back with a real pretty birdie. It's a Canadian warbler. warbler. And then she's got, uh, Elizabeth, you have some space here to put um, whatever you need. It just goes right back in here and ties up. And it's sewn on, so... You don't have to be delicate with it. Over here is another doily, and this is part of a, a vintage table runner I got in a state sale. Look at all the pink toile, isn't it lovely? And it's got a rosette and some more seam binding. And on the inside, we have a bigger journal with some real pretty 
bluebirds and rose and some fabric here. This is kind of a mixture of your birdies and your goatee ladies. A little tuck spot there. A little birdie. I let some images come over the edge here. And it says the Jerry dress, isn't it pretty? This has got all kinds of things in it. Little mini pocket here with a birdie. He was so pretty. I know I used him in the other one, but he's just such a pretty bird. And it's one like that matches the cover. A little piece of ephemera here and some fabric and book page. This folds out. More of the pretty ladies. This is a walking, a walking sack, it says. Hmm, walking dress, I'm, I would call it, but you know, what do I know? <laughs> Here's some seam binding on some fabric. Another birdie. Little pieces of fabric. I wanted to leave plenty of places to journal and use some small things because, you know, the, you can't journal on the fabric, of course. And this is a pocket and I had a couple of these images left over so I put them in there for journaling. A pretty dress. Isn't that gorgeous? Boy, they used to know how to dress back then. But I bet you it took them till noon to get dressed. <laughs> but they didn't have electronics back then to distract them. Alrighty, and he just goes right back in here. On this side, some of that matching paint that matches the, the cover and the back. And uh, a double rosette with a real pretty button and some pearls here. And inside I put two of these cards. Got a little clippy to hold it. Some uh, sorry silk going down the side. Coffee dyed paper. And I clipped it at the top instead of over here so it wouldn't catch. If I can get my hands to do this right. There we go. And over here is a real pretty dress and some uh, layering with uh, some ruffles and some lace. And a little heart paper clip. And they tuck in here. I had this this got so big so fast that um, I had to remake some some extra journals that would fit in here. I'm gonna show you the journals that I had originally made that um, I'm sending to Elizabeth. Here's a real pretty goatee fashions it says. Some real pretty trim with some pearls and an antique button here. And then I made a flower out of the out of the toile, the pink toile. And this was a a uh, edge of a table runner. And I cut it off and then I did a little stitching here in the pink. And then this is held shut by a safety pin. And it's got the matching stitching. And a piece of a doily and a rosette and some twisted sari ribbon and lace. All kinds of goodies. And then inside it's just plain coffee dyed papers for writing. And it just closes back up with the safety pin. I'm always so scared I'm going to stab myself. Because it just pops through. Got some stitching up here. Over here is the, we got this on this side, a uh, flat type flower made with a pink toile and an antique button with a doily. Two ladies here with the matching, so the pages coordinate. And in here we have a petal envelope with tied with the 
seam bind, coffee dyed seam binding. And you can put in whatever you like there. But he's got a, a little birdie. A little birdie there. This is uh, graphic 45 paper. I think it's called Tea Time. I'm not sure. I have very little graphic 45 paper left. And this was a uh, table runner also, and it's uh, got the light, light, light pink. And then I used the uncoffee dyed pink toile behind here. So you've got a little mixture of both. And then back here I put another one of these because they're thin. <laughs> and I just, it, you know, I know I've said this before, but I really like writing on these. I really do. They're just fun. So we have three in this journal. And then the next page we have some more of that real pretty trim and the pink pretty lace with the pink toile. And in here I put an envelope that has a few goodies. Of course there's a birdie in here. Little, little faint birdie. It says Bird Beauty. A Tim Holtz flash card. And a little a little uh, tag. I want the birdies to show. And this is a, a uh, glassine bag. A little mini glassine bag. And this is a little bit larger booklet than I normally make. It's got some real pretty roses on it with um, all different kinds of, of papers in here to journal on or keep notes on or whatever you like. A little doily there. And then another booklet of a rose because I figured it went with that. And it's got um, coffee dyed papers in it, different all different kinds of papers book page for writing. And then over here, another one of those gorgeous, gorgeous images of the Cody ladies. I didn't know. I had to do a little bit of research. I did not know that was a fashion magazine. I knew the period was the 1800s. And it, it could be early 1800s to late 1800s, you know, past the Civil War and before. But, um, I did not know it was a fashion magazine and a catalog. So, um, in here, oh, I'm going to save that for a surprise because I want to show you this one first, Elizabeth. This is a little pretty booklet. It's got a little clippy, some gold here with the gorgeous ladies on the front and on the back, coffee dyed paper, and this is part of a, a napkin here, and that's that makes the spine. And on the inside, we, I don't want to show you yet. Let me get it, get it where I want it. Okay. On the inside, we have Elizabeth Stationery. So she's got her letterhead here. And there's several pages in here. And it's stitched, all of them are stitched down the edge. So she can... But the, the thing I like about this journal, Elizabeth, is that these papers come out. So you can remove it, remove, remove all the papers, you can journal on it, flip it to the new one, and it just tucks right back under here. This lifts up. You're not going to break it as tight in a square knot on the other side, so it's not going to come apart and it just slides right in place and of course it's got the gorgeous ladies here and on the back it's got the ladies and tied with a a bow and then on this oh, let me get the clippy and then on in here this is a gorgeous gorgeous part of a a doily tabletop and I folded the edges back here so you could see more of the pink toile and inside I put you some extra stationary pages so you have more if you if you need them. Isn't that neat? 
I just thought that was so cute. And we've got a seam binding bow and a rosette up here. Let's see if I can get this in. I'm stretching y'all across the table to get this in. Keep it on the camera, and I think I'm going to wait till I um, can bring the book closer to me. So let me tie this up. I just love all the seam binding in it, and it came out, don't ask me how, I don't know what I did, but it came out with a pink, a slight pink cast in with the coffee dyed, so I thought it went really nicely in here for a little variation. It's got a lace closure, and here's the back, and the front again. It's, it's a big one, it's a big one. Now I want to show you the, um... The booklets, the ex these are the original booklets that I made. And they got a little bit bigger than uh, would fit in there. Because, I mean, it really raised the book up to the point where I couldn't get it closed. So, these are what I'm giving Elizabeth. I made them especially for her. Um, she wanted an antique safety pin somewhere. So, we've got one here with some seam binding and some different fabrics. And it, this has the matching... Uh, cloth that's in the other book. It's got the pink twill for the spine and some birdies on the back. And look at how this lace just folds over. I thought that was so cool. I got a little bit of lace going on here. On the inside, I bet y'all couldn't guess this was a birdie book. Got lots of birdies in here. Got a gauze pocket that's been stitched with some uh, shiny flowers, and of course, I couldn't let her go by without the snippets. And uh, this is part of a, a tablecloth. This is a hard cover with a soft spine. Over here, we've got some eyelet fabric with some pale green uh, pastel thread, a rosette, and a birdie. And they've been all script stamped, the pages have. Got some lace running down here with that sewing coming through the other side. Look at it go. Flowers. Look at that. It even feels neat. I don't I don't know how I got this. <laughs> but um it came out really, really pretty and a different texture. Some more birdies and ephemera. And I thought they went pretty good together. Some pink sorry silk. That's got one of those knots that I just love, and it had some gold in it, too. So I cut that section out and put it in here, and I stitched it on the page. So, um, it's, it's on there. Here's some more journaling spaces on a piece of ephemera. Here's a little birdie pocket with a button. Big birdie picture here with the eyelet going down and that wonderful textured paper. Got some stitching running down there, and a rosette, and more birdies, and the pink sari silk. Over here, I did a little collage for journaling, and one put one up there. And over here is an empty pocket. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to fill that in. And this is um, some music. A music ruffle with a little mini birdie and a heart and a little tiny piece of bling. And here's a nest. What bird book wouldn't be complete without a nest, I think. And that's pretty flower paper. More pink sorry silk here. Some pretty birdies. I really like these coming off the edge. It just makes um, turning the pages very easy. So that may be my new thing for these next bunch of journals I've got coming up. Some uh, rosettes and some uh, seam binding there with some little baby birdies and some stitching. And this is the back again. It's a hard cover. Isn't that neat with the with the soft cover spine? And we have a little bird here with some seam binding, and I just let it come on down off. There goes Sammy. 
let it come on down at the bottom of the book and put a rosette there. And it's got a pretty butterfly and some journaling cards that, of course, have been copy dyed. And I want that little butterfly to stick out. And there's the back again. See, they come out, and you see all this yummy fabric. And then when you tie it, they fold up. I just think that's so cool. That's one journaling book. Now for the next. Oh, make sure. Yep. All good. It's made out of the pink toile that I did not coffee dye for this one. And it's got the cover of the Goaty Ladies Book 1849. With all the different images. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow, the way they used to dress. She's got her hair all fixed up with a comb. And look at this. Florals coming down and florals over there. Beads. This was so pretty. I just I just love that image. And it's tied with uh, sari silk. A thinner sari silk. On the inside, we have a vintage uh, picture from the book. From the magazine. And in here I put a button and some music paper on coffee paper. One of the little fold-outs with the little glasses that I think are just adorable. And then, and then Sammy Jo says hello as she hits the table. <laughs> Got some lined paper here. Coffee dyed. Boy, she's on a roll. They're out mowing the lawn next door just drives her crazy. Over here, a little floral image back here with the sorry silk that matches the closure. And the ladies and some journaling space here. Got some lace on the edge from the other side of the book. A page. Book page. Huh. Book page. There's the lace with some more lace and a flower there. An old newspaper clipping. Look at that. Look at that hair. Oh my. And more of the matching sorry silk here running down the edge with some cheesecloth. And I let it hang over the edge. And this is um, this is another empty pocket. Boy, I'm on a roll today. Um, but it's a collage here and with some ephemera in the background. A little pretty image there. And I let the lace come on over from the other side. And this is a variation of this. Same style photograph, but a different dress and a different hairstyle with the, I guess they were selling these in the catalog or showing them off in the fashion magazine. I can't imagine messing with my hair for that long of a time first thing in the morning. Got some lace here, you know, cause I wanna get my studio. <laughs> Over here, <coughs> This is a fashionable dress for a lady. Look at that, all those bows. And that sorry silk here, and of course this lifts up for journaling. Some ephemera and some lace and some sorry uh, seam binding, I'm sorry. And uh, an image there of the of the goatee ladies. Did I not stuff these pockets? I am so slipping. Well, Elizabeth, it's gonna be a surprise because I have no idea what I'm gonna put in there. But I've got I've been making embellishments all week. So I know I've got some different goodies now. And this is also a pocket with nothing in it. With a real pretty image and it's got some uh real thin fabric here. It's stitched in gold with some lace running down the side. And then of course the doily from the other page sticks over. Lots of places for journaling. This also lifts up. With um, some of the sorry silk and the pink stitching. Look at those dresses. Gorgeous. And this is the lace peeking over from the other side. With a journaling card here. Some little bit of layering going on. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Those will probably cost a fortune today. And some lace here. You just don't like the lawnmower, do you? She's sitting under my table. 
more pretty images, another empty pocket. Yep. I hate it when I do that, y'all. It just, it just drives me crazy. Um, some music paper back here. Another tuck spot here. And real pretty soft print. Another, the other side of that newspaper clipping. Here's a little bow and some lace. Roses, I thought that matched really well together. And the front view of that dress with all that embroidery and stitching and stuff on it. And up here is some cheesecloth and a little bit of pink peeping through. I had embossed it in pink. And uh, it was too bright for me, you know, for, for the to go with the coffee stain. So I put cheesecloth over it and then this part of a doily with a piece of ephemera. And it just gives a sheen of pink coming through and I like that sometimes you just have to to keep playing with it just because you 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 put something on there and you decide oh I don't really like that work with it because you can end up creating something really pretty so don't don't give up the ship keep going some more snippets here with the rose and a lace pocket with the goatee ladies and a rose uh, floral background. And there's the back again. And the front. And the ties. But you see, you see how big that got? And if I were to put that in that journal, you know, it just, it just wasn't going to work. So, um, you know, they just grow on me. I can't help it. I get to working on stuff and I just want to make, make, make. So, um, Elizabeth, that's to your benefit and everybody else's too. <laughs> because I can't stop myself. I want to thank y'all so much for being here today, Elizabeth. I hope you really like this. And because um, I know that you have been wanting a journal with the pink toile and the, the goatee ladies and the and you like birdie so much. So I hope I, I did you justice. And I don't have any more journals for this Friday, but next week I will have some. So I will see y'all next Friday. Bye-bye.